Okay, so let's take a look at the steps we need to follow to use the addition method to solve this system of linear equations. Step one says that we have to line up our variables. Well, that step is already done for us. We can see the x's are lined up vertically, the y terms are lined up vertically, and the constants on the right side of the equal sign are also lined up vertically. Now we need to determine which variable to eliminate. Um, notice how it says we want to make the coefficients opposites. When you're deciding which variable to eliminate, I always say look through both equations and see if any of the variables have a coefficient of 1. In this second equation, our x variable has a coefficient of 1. So that is the variable you want to use in order to get the coefficients opposites. So in the top equation, the coefficient is 4 for the 4x. So in the bottom equation where it's just 1x, it's easy for us to turn that into a negative 4x and then we'll have opposite coefficients. So we're going to focus on the bottom equation right now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of that equation by negative 4. The reason again why I'm multiplying by negative 4 is because then I will have negative 4x as my x term in the second equation and that will be the opposite of the positive 4x in the first equation. So you'll see that after we multiply the second equation by negative 4, when our x terms line up, we'll have opposite coefficients. Okay, so our first equation remains unchanged. It's still 4x minus 3y equals negative 15. But now our second equation, we're going to distribute negative 4 to everything on both sides of the equation. So when I distribute on the left side, I get negative 4x minus 20y. That's where the negative 20y comes from, because you're multiplying negative 4 times positive 5y. And then on the right side, after I distribute, I get negative 8. So now I've completed step 2. Now I'm ready for step 3, where I'm going to add straight down. And this is where all my work is going to pay off, because I'm going to eliminate my x terms. So first I'm going to add my constants together. Negative 15 plus negative 8 is negative 23. Then I'm going to add my y terms together. Negative 3y plus negative 20y is negative 23y. And here's where we eliminate the x's. If I were to add 4x plus negative 4x, I would have 0x. That's why I multiplied the bottom equation by negative 4, because now my x terms eliminate, and all I have to do is solve this equation, negative 23y equals negative 23. So I'm done with step 3, and now I'm ready to move on to step 4. All I have to do is divide by negative 23, and then y equals positive 1. Now I choose one of the original equations. Okay, I'm going to choose the second equation. Again, the reason why is because it has a variable with a coefficient of 1. That's going to make it easier to solve for x, because I won't have to divide by anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the solution y equals 1, and I'm going to replace it for the y in that original equation. So notice where there was a y, now it's 1. Now I'm going to solve that equation. x plus 5 equals 2, so if I subtract 5 from both sides, x equals negative 3. So now I'm done with step 5, okay? And I'm also done with step 6, and I can write the ordered pair solution. I put negative 3 together with 1, and there's my ordered pair solution. So I'll leave step 7 up to you where you check. So you'll take negative 3 and plug it in for x, and you'll take 1 and plug it in for y. And you should do it in both equations, both original equations, just to make sure they both balance out and you didn't make any mistakes. I hope this helped, and I hope you can see um, now how we follow all the steps to solve this system of equations.